My name's Lori Kelman, and my MC efficiency proposal is to recycle smarter so we recycle more. It's a simple idea that can have a big impact on recycling at Montgomery College. We have a problem at the college because employees, students, and visitors to the college want to recycle, but some of our recycling bins are labeled in a confusing manner. I've seen people go to throw something out, hesitate, read the bin, and put something that could be recycled in the trash because our bins aren't labeled properly. So what goes where? Well, at the college, I've seen recycling bins that were labeled paper or white paper or white paper only. And the problem with that is that's not what we can recycle. We can recycle a lot more than that. We have bins that are labeled cans or cans only. And again, Montgomery County lets us recycle a lot more than that. So what does the county allow us to recycle right now? Well, there's two broad categories. The first is mixed paper. This includes white paper, envelopes, colored paper, cardboard, newspapers, inserts, catalogs, magazines. Just about any clean, dry paper can be recycled, and it can all be mixed together. The second category is commingled materials, and this includes aluminum cans and foil, glass bottles and jars, plastic bottles or containers, and cans. The current county recycling for commingled materials includes plastics marked numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 7, plastic bags or wraps labeled numbers 2 or 4, and cans, glass, or aluminum products. In addition, we could label our trash or non-recyclable waste if we wanted to. Our trash bins could say, waste, dirty paper, napkins, or tissues, polystyrene and styrofoam, which is recycle code six, and other non-recyclable waste. So if our bins were labeled properly, people would know what to put where. Well, it turns out that the county will provide decals for our bins at no cost. So these decals are free. Uh, the website that we can order them from is shown on the slide. And if we were to label our bins up, the confusion would be gone. So here's the proposal. Let's label our bins so they agree with current county recycling guidelines. Let's create a Montgomery College recycling web page that has a link to the current county recycling page so that interested people can see what we can recycle. The web page needs to be kept current, and we would send an email reminder about recycling once a semester or once a year. And the policy is going to be right on the bins, so people who don't follow the links will still know what to recycle. This is an extremely low-cost proposal. Of course, there's some work that needs to be done, and who's going to do that? Well, I believe there are interested employees in our buildings on campuses that would be willing to label the bins if we gave them the decals or let them know where they could obtain them, or if we gave them a list that could be printed out and attached to the bins. For creating the web page and sending out the email reminder, someone will have to be tasked with this. Now, not everybody is going to recycle, but this proposal is going to make it easier for people who want to recycle. One of the positive impacts of the proposal is that our compliance should increase. People who do want to recycle will find it easier and people who don't normally recycle might, if the directions are clear and easy to understand. 
Montgomery College is one of the largest employers in the county, and we should take the lead and make recycling simple. Why should we do this? Well, because we care. We want to recycle. We should also do it because it's good for the environment. The environmental benefits should be immediate and large. We also should do this because we have to. As a large employer, we must recycle and we must report on our recycling activities. Montgomery College can set an example for the county and the country as an environmentally friendly college. Go MC Green. <laughs>